الحمد لله رب العالمين خلق فسوى وقدر فهدى وأخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى الحمد لله خلق الزوجين الذكر والأنثى من نطفة إذا تمنى وأن عليه النشأة الأخرى وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له في عليائه ولا مناوئ له في سلطانه وعلو شانه سبحانه تفرد بالألوهية فلا رب سواه ولا معبود بحق إلا إياه أنعم علينا بنعم لا تحصى وإن تعدوا نعمة الله لا تحصوها ومن آلائه أن جعل لنا من أنفسنا أزواجا لنسكن إليها فاللهم لك الحمد ولك الشكر أنعم علينا بخير نعمة وأحسن منا نعمة سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم الذي نحن نشهد أنه رسول الله حقا وصدقا نشهد أنه ما ترك خيرا إلا ودلنا عليه ولا ترك شرا ولا سوءا إلا وحذرنا منه فاللهم صل وسلم وبارك وزد عليه وعلى آله وأحبابه وكل من اهتدى بهديه واستنى بسنته وسار على دربه وقتفى أثره إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد أوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله أوصى الله عز وجل الأولين والآخرين بتقواه ولقد وصينا الذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبلكم من قبلكم وإياكم أن اتقوا الله وصية الله للأولين والآخرين فاللهم اجعلنا منهم ومعهم واجعلنا من المتقين يا رب العالمين أيها الأكارم أتكلم في هذه الدقائق بسرعة عن الأسرة في الإسلام والعشرة Let's talk about the family after praising Allah and bearing witness that there is no God except Allah and that Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is the messenger of Allah Let's jump quickly to the topic that touches every single person of us فما منا من أحد إلا وله أسرة أو جاء من أسرة والأسرة في الإسلام هي انعكاس مرآة لتعاليم الإسلام فقد جاء الإسلام بتعاليم كثيرة وعظيمة ما جاءت بها لا حضارة ولا قانون ولا كذا يحمي بها الأسرة إسلام provide us it's, it's a kind of reflection this family system in Islam is a reflection for the beauty of Islam how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his Quran and the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم in his sunnah is telling us the exact things to do so we have a successful family and then we have a successful society and based on that we will have a successful ummah or successful nation. أيها الأكارم إن بساطة الحياة في الماضي كانت تساعد على إن الحياة تسير بسلاسة سواء منها الزوجية أو بين الأصحاب أو في شتى مناحي الحياة فكانت المشاكل تحل في إطارها وكانت الأمور تستدرك. Before in the past things to you to, used to be very simple, very easy, and family system was not an exception. They used to have much less problems. They were much less complicated. Nowadays, الآن انفتحت الدنيا على بعضها وصار الناس يقلدون بعضهم ودخل في ثقافتنا وفي ديننا ما ليس منه. Now we are open to every kind of thing, and we look at others, and that might reflect on us either positively or negatively. But I can guarantee you that in many dimensions in the in the نظام الأسرة, the family system. We see a lot of uh, negative uh, effects of that openness of Muslims to uh, other ways. وأنا أزعم أنه يعني من أهم أسباب فساد العلاقات بين الأزواج هو سوء العشرة أو هو يعني مشاكل تنشأ في معظمها من عدم مراعاة العشرة. Mainly one of the key uh, problems that could lead to a lot of other problems that could lead to the probably the destruction of a relationship between the husband and wife that could lead to the destruction of the family is su'il ishra is not keeping good company with one another kind not being kind to each other فنجد من الناس من يهتم بواجباته بحقوقه ولا يهتم بواجباته يتجاهل مال الطرف الاخر ويركز على ماله we see people focusing on what they should have what should the other party and this relationship should give them they might sometimes ignore what they should do and what they should give ومن اسباب السعاده ان يقوم كل منهما بما يجب عليه الاخر 
one of the key reasons that would lead to happiness in any family is that you should pay attention to do to them what you want them to do to you. The wife should do what the husband, what she is requesting from the husband and vice versa. The husband should do what he expects to have from the wife so it will go like both ways. For them, Allah says in the Quran, for them, the wives, the women, they have similar, they have rights similar to the duties in them. And men will have a degree over them, which is a degree of leadership or guardianship or protection up to women. So they have, both of them have similar rights and responsibilities that they should pay attention to. It's an order, a commandment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all of us to keep good company with them, with each other. Keep وَعَاشِرُهُنَّ Imperative from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to keep good company with them in the nicest way, in the kind way. وَقَالَ فَإِمْسَاكُمْ بِمَعْرُوفٍ If you have to keep them, keep them in a kind, nice, good way. أَوْ تُسْرِحُمْ بِإِحْسَانٍ Or even if you have to abandon them, you abandon them or divorce them in, in the most, in, in the way which is the best. بِإِحْسَانٍ بِأَحْسَنْ مَا يَكُونَ وخلاصة العشرة كلام من ذاك اسمع يقول تطييب الأقوال وتحسين الأفعال والهيئات حسب القدرة واستدامة البشر ومداعبة الأهل وتوسيع النفقة دون إسراف وقيام كل من الزوجين بما يجب أن يقوم له الآخر فيؤثر عن ابن عباس رضي الله عنهما أنه قال إني أحب أن أتزين لامرأتي كما أحب أن تتزين لي So the bottom line the rule, the golden rule that we should follow in, to keep good company, keeping good company is to say good and to do good and try to look good as much as you can and always be smiley, always be uh, having a positive uh, uh, approach towards the other and try to be, you know, to entertain the, the other person and try to spend and be generous in the spending without going to extravagance that should go from each one to the other. Abdullah ibn Abbas he said, I love to beautify myself to my wife in the same way I like her to do to me. فَالْحَقُّ الْوَالِدِ Let's start very quickly. We might not have time to get to talk about what wives or women should do. I will try my best. But we will start what husbands, what men should do. And I try my best to say uh, all of them, inshaAllah. فالحق الواجب على الزوج نحو امرأته الإنفاق عليها وكسوتها والتعامل معها بالمعروف وكف الأذى وحسن العشرة. Five things that the husband should mainly do amongst other so many other things. He should mainly spend on his wife, providing the uh, clothes as well, and deal with her in a kind, nice way, and to abstain from hurting. Her or being abusive to her and keeping good company. Again, spending on her nafaqati alayha wa kiswatiha is to provide her the, the expenditure that's needed for her and also the clothing and to keep good company with her or deal with her in ma'roof in a kind, nice, good way and to abstain and stop hurting her and doing anything that hurts her and to keep good company. وقد سأل رجل النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم A man asked the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم ما حق امرأة الرجل ما حق امرأة الرجل عليه قال أن تطعمها إذا طعمت وتكسوها إذا اكتسيت ولا تضرب الوجه ولا تقبح ولا تهجر إلا في فرش Five things the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said when this man asked him O Messenger of Allah what is the right of uh, our wives on us what is the right of the wife so the man first of all the man is asking about what what is he's not asking what is the duty of my wife what should my wife do to me? No, he asked him, ma haqqu, uh, imra'atu rajuli alayhi. What is the right of my wife on me? This is the husband is asking. Pay attention to that. So he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is to feed her when you are eating. You are eating, provide similar food to her. And to provide clothing to her. Not to dress certain how, but you uh, provide her a clothing that's less than yours. And never be abusive, especially hitting and especially hitting the face. وَلَا تَهْجُرْ And do not forsake or abandon in terms of uh, sleeping and stuff except in the, uh, in the, in the bed. So the Prophet is ordering the person to physically to take good care of her and never, 
you know, ولا يقبح, never be abusive, حتى لا يقول حتى كلمات قبيحة لا. العلماء المفسرون يقولوا كما يقول قبحك الله أو كذا لا يسيء إليه, he shouldn't hurt her, he shouldn't say bad words to her, that's the hadith, ولا يقبح, ولا يقبح, so should not put her down by even saying, you know, bad, bad words. ونبينا صلى الله عليه وسلم أرشد إلى الزوج إلى المعاملة الحسنة مع المرأة ودل أو أخبر أنه من تمام الإيمان أو من كماله فقال صلى الله عليه وسلم أكمل المؤمنين إيمانا أحسنهم خلقا وخيركم خيركم لنسائه ف يعني أخبر صلى الله عليه وسلم على أن حسن الخلق من تمام الإيمان ومن علامات حسن الخلق أن يكون حسن الخلق لزوجه وأشار في الحديث الآخر أنه هو صلى الله عليه وسلم أحسن الناس إلى أهله صلى الله عليه وسلم so the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is telling us that the most complete of the believers in terms of faith are those who have the best of character, the best of akhlaq, ethics, moral, high morals that they deal with. This is the best, the most complete believers. So he is telling us that the biggest sign of, of a faith of somebody is that he should have good morals, that he deal with people in a nice, good way. That is a sign that he is a good believer. And then he said, وَخَيْرُكُمْ And the best amongst you, talking about the characters and morals, the best amongst you are those who are best to their wives. فَسَلَّمَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ حُسْنِ التَّعَامُلِ وَكَانَ يَبْدَأُ بِنَفْسِهِ He would do it himself, صلى الله عليه وسلم, with uh, his family. وَيُبَيْنُ فِي مَوْضِعِ الْآخَرِ أَنَّ الرَّجُلُ هُوَ مَا أَنِ الحقيقة يعني أن الرَّجُلُ هُوَ مَنْ عَلَيْهَ أَنْ يَتَحَمَّلْ وَأَنْ يَصْبِرْ خاصة في مواجهة الأخطاء التي تصدر من الزوج أن يتحمل وكذا لأن الله جمله وخلقه أنه أقوى وأنه أعقل هذه الحقيقة أنه أعقل وأنه يعني لا يهتم بالعواطف كاهتمام المرأة لها وأشار في ذلك النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بقوله لا يفرق مؤمن مؤمنة إن كره منها خلقا رضي منها آخر The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is telling us it's kind of a reference that the man should have more of patience he should be the one to endure more because the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created him, he created him stronger. He created him to have more of patience. And he made him and appointed him to be the leader in the house. Leader in the house is not just there to say go left and go right and that's my no. Yes, he should say go left and go right and everything and the final saying is his. Yes, and I'm saying yes. But the package goes as a package. It goes as one package. He should also be the one to take responsibility, to be more patient, to take more of, you know, the problems or the mistakes that would come from the wife patiently. Try to solve the problem because it all goes as, in one, pa as a one package and the Prophet said, let not a believing person, talking about the husband, let not the husband, if he is a believer, let not him, let him not hate a believing woman, referring to his wife. Because if he approve, if he disapproves, if he dislikes one character, one problem in his in his wife, then he should not fail to see so many good other other good things in her. He would definitely find another follow uh, or another characteristic that he will approve of. Allah Azza Jalla Yaqul, فإن كرهتموهن فعسى أن تكرهوا شيئا ويجعل الله فيه خيرا كثيرا. If you hate them, if you dislike them, yes, you might come to this point. But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, maybe you will dislike something, and Allah will make it much blessed. Allah will put much khayr, goodness in it, in that thing that you, uh, that you probably hate. يقول القرطبي المفسر والموسوع الإسلام يقول فإن كرهتموهن أي لدمامة أو سوء خلق من غير ارتكاب فاحشة أو نشوز فهذا يندب فيه إلى الاحتمال فعسى أن يقول الأمر إلى أن يرزق الله منها أولادا صالحين وقال مكحول سمعت ابن عمر رضي الله عنهما يقول إن الرجل لا يستخير الله تعالى فيخار له فيسقط على ربه يعني لما اختاره له ربنا وجهه لشيء لم يرضى عنه فلا يلبث أن ينظر العاقبة فإذا هو قد فإذا هو خير له so uh, القرطبي رضي الله رحمه الله ورضي الله عنه he says in the tafsir explanation of this ayah if you hate or dislike or disapprove something in them Maybe you dislike something and Allah puts a lot of goodness in it. He gives this comment. He said, if you hate or you, if you dislike or disapprove, then maybe because of some this beauty, something that has to do with beauty in there, or something that has to do with this, uh, in the characteristic, bad characteristic or something, as long as they are not committing like a major sin and indecency 
or Mushu's complete disobedience. He said, in this case, it's recommended. It is recommended for man to endure, to take that, to be patient. Maybe it will lead to something good. Maybe it will lead that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him some good offspring out of this lady. And Makhul is giving also, uh, one of the Imams, he said, maybe a person is asking istikhara, praying istikhara, which is asking Allah to choose which way is good for him. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directs him a certain way, and then he kind of dislikes it. And then later on, he discovers that what Allah chooses for him is the best. So many things of what we may choose or like for ourselves, I like to go this way. I dislike this. You never know. Maybe what you dislike, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, you know, uh, a great uh, goodness in it for you. And maybe what you like is not the best for you. وَإِذَا كَانَتِ الْمَوَدَّ هِيَ أَحَدْ دَعَاءِ الزَّوْجِيَّةِ فَإِنَّ الرَّحْمَةَ أَيْضًا هِيَ الدُّعَامَةُ الْأُخْرَى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking to uh, about marriage. He said, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً He cast and he made between you both of love and mercy. Everybody is talking about love. Before marriage, we should love one another. After marriage, romance and love and this, that's important. But that's only halfway. That's only 50%. The other 50% is a rahmah, is mercy. When she makes mistakes, when he makes mistakes, everybody of them should show mercy to the other. Because you're not just getting a, 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 a model that would be always beautiful. You're not getting a perfect person that would be always an angel, not saying anything wrong, not doing anything wrong. That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. So we have to show up to each other. But then in the face of mistakes, disagreements, stuff, then we have to be merciful. Merciful to one another. وعقد الزوجية أيها الأكارم في الإسلام أكبر من النزوات العاطفية وأجل من الضغط الحيواني الشهواني وكذا ولا يليق أن تعصف به الأمزجة الطارئة فيتخلى الزوج عن زوجته لمجرد أنه كرية منها خلقا أو كرية منها أخلاقا أو كرية منها أشياء أو فقدت ناحية من نواحي الجمال أو كذا فعسى الله تبارك وتعالى أن يجعله أن يجد فيها أخلاق أخرى يرضى بها ونوع أنواع أخرى من الجمال so in Islam, marriage is mithaqa ghalidha, is a great, big contract, high, like heavy covenant. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called it the heavy covenant. So it's not, shouldn't be subject to, you know, destruction and removal and annulment in the face of a little disagreement. I hate this in him, or I dislike this in her. So it shouldn't go like that, it should be much stronger than this, uh, because she lost some of the beauty. She would lose some of her beauty when, he, when she grows. And you as well, you would lose a lot of things down the road as you are growing up. So that shouldn't be the main reason that, uh, you know, you bring this contract to an annulment. Uh, an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, قَالَ خَيْرُكُمْ خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ The best of you are, the, are those who are best to their families. وَحَتَّى فِي الْمُقَابِلْ نَفَى الْخَيْرِيَّةَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمَ عَنْ مَنْ تَشْتَكِ مِنْهُمْ نِسَاؤُهُمْ the Prophet said, oh, the best of you are those who are best of their wives. And then on the other hand, he said that those whose, whose wives are complaining about them, they are not the best amongst you. It has, you know, a lot of wives are coming to complain about their husbands. They have come to the house of Muhammad. He's saying, so said, to my house, complaining. He said, those men are not the best amongst you. That's Kalam and Nabi By the way, this is not meant for a group, for a person, for anything. That's meant for myself, for you, for everybody. So let's get closer to Akhlaq and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's our religion, Allah and our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They told us clearly, I'm talking in front of the women and the men as well. He told us that the nature of the woman is different from the nature of men. It's different. It's not going to be the same. It's different. I'm not saying less. It's just different. So, a man dealing with a woman and expecting from her, just like a man, another man with him, no, it's not going to happen. Failure is going to happen. A woman is dealing with the man and expecting a package from him as if he is another woman with her, that's not going to happen. That, that's going to lead to failure. Take good care of women. I'm giving you the advice to be good to women. Why? Because he is, 
He's saying, in other words, that their, their nature is different. And the hadith is known. فَإِنَّ الْمَرَأَ تَخُلِقَتْ مِنْ ضِلَعْ وَإِنَّ أَعْوَجَ مَا فِي الضِلَعِ أَعْلَاهُ وَإِنَّكَ إِنْ ذَهَبْتَ تُقِيمَهُ كَسَرْتَهُ وَإِنْ تَرَكْتَهُ فَلَا يَزَالُ بِهِ عِوَجْ فَاسْتَوْصُ بِالنِّسَاءِ خَيْرًا وَأُعْرَضِ يعني هنا على الترجمة المسألة معروفة. The, the nature of the woman is different from the nature of the man. So you have to consider that. فهذا توجيه للرجل لأن ينظر إليها نظر من يعرف حالها. You should deal with her likewise. She likes so much emotions, good words. One word of I love you will make her day, probably will make her year. And if you didn't say it to her, you know, you would lose your day or maybe lose your year and maybe even you will lose your entire life. Now, وَقَدْ نَطَقَ الشَّرْعُ الْعَقْلُ كَمَا نَطَقَ الشَّرْعُ بِالْوَاقِعِ يشهد بأن كم من أسرة وكم من حالة وجاءت من مشاكل في أول الزواج أو في أثنائه أو بعد سنوات ثم صبر الزوجة أو صبرت الزوجة وانصلح الحال وكان من هذه الأسرة الذرية وكان بينهما مكان. So this is the ayat and hadith and even and it's a witness for what should we do and directions but even the reality even the mind even what we have nowadays is a big witness of that patience and endurance and trying to solve the problems and being patient. We see so many cases, they face some problems in the beginning of the, of the marriage, after a few years of the marriage, but then at the end, they become, you know, they continue and they become good, and we have good families coming out of that, so let's not, you know, hasten, let's not, يعني نتسرع في أشياء فكما يقولون يعني الابتسامة تتوحي النفوس وتنحو الضغائن والثناء على الزوجات في المأكل والملبس والمشرب والزينة وكذا جاذب لأفئدتهن to praise your wife to say a good word for your wife to smile for your wife will definitely make a big difference in how she deals with you ويعجبني قول عمر وهذا القول مش جاي من مثلا أبو بكر الصديق أو من الصحابة من اشتهر بال بساطة وبالسماحة وبكذا سيدنا عمر اشتهر بالقوة وبالشجاعة ومع ذلك كان يقول ينبغي للرجل أن يكون في أهله كالصبي أي في الأنس والسهولة فإن كان في القوم كان رجلا عمر رضي الله عنه is known to be courageous, strong and harsh but then it's coming from him it's not coming from Abu Bakr or anybody who was known to be soft of the companion he said what? he said I like for the person a husband when he is with his family, with his wife, is that he be like a little boy or a little child, meaning so soft and so easy and so smooth to deal with, to deal with. But when he is dealing with everybody else, he is behaving like a man, strong person. الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة المتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين الآثمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله رب العالمين وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله الأمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. My brothers please move forward to this side إن شاء الله. I give an advice. I give advice. Advices for men in the last 29 minutes. And I have like two or three minutes, maybe even one minute. I'm gonna give the advice now for women, which is not fair, right? So, but I'll try my best إن شاء الله. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave the advice for men. This is what you should do. But he also did give the advice for women, wives, what they should do uh, if they, you know, want to do good, the rights, the responsibilities in them, the rights of the husband. فلخص ذلك النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال إذا مات الزوج وهو راض عن امرأته دخل في الجنة. He said if a husband dies while being happy, pleased with his wife, she is in Jannah. She is in Jannah. My sister, what would be your goal if it's not Jannah? To get to Jannah, just make your husband happy. That's what Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying, is saying that. Again, my sisters, I'm gonna talk for them for two minutes. I guarantee you, I'm sorry for that sisters, they will complain. They will say, Shaykh Amr, you sit there and I talk to the brothers for 29 minutes. I'm talking to you for two or three minutes. But it's all the hadith. If the husband died, if the husband dies while being happy, Radi an Zawjati, with his wife, she is in Jannah. والمرأة إذا قامت بحق زوجها أيضا ليس فقط في الجنة بل تدخل الجنة من أي أبوابها شاء. May I ask my brothers again to move? I have a spot for two, one, two, three, four, five brothers in here. I have a spot in there for two brothers. Spot in here for two more brothers. Please move forward إن شاء الله. Make room. تفسحوا نفسح الله لكم. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم للمرأة مبشرا لا آمرا يقول يعني لمن هذه النصيحة لمن أرادت أن تدخل الجنة من أي أبوابها شاء. This advice is for the wife 
A wife who wants to get to Jannah from any of the gates of Jannah, إذا صلت المرأة خمسها وصامت شهرها وحفظت فرجها وأطاعت بعلها قيل لها ادخل الجنة من أي أبوابها شئت. So if the woman does those things, if she prays her five five daily prayers, if she fasts her month the month of Ramadan, وحفظت فرجها if she keeps and maintains her chastity, وأطاعت بعلها obeys her husband. قيل لها ادخل الجنة من أي أبوابها شئت. Those four things. Pray the five daily prayers, do the fast and the obligatory fast that you have to do. Keep your, you know, honor and chastity and obey your husband. You will be, uh, the, if she does so, she will be told to get to Jannah from any of the doors that she uh, chooses. وحذر في المقابل والسلام من العصيان والتمرد ويعني منازع الأزواج. He, he warns the wife to kind of go rebellious against the husband to, you know, Turn his life into hell. Give him hard time. يعني حتى أن تمتنع من فراشي حذرها تحذير شديد معروف معروف يقول إذا دعا رجل امرأته للفراش فلم تجبه فبات ساخطا عليها لعنتها الملائكة حتى تصبع الأزوا الزوجات ما بيحبوش الحديث ده ما بيحبوش الحديث والأزواج للأسف يستشهدوا به في الموضع الخطأ أيضا. But هذا حديث صحيح عن صلى الله عليه وسلم. An authentic hadith, even if uh, women do not like it, even if men will misquote it or will quote it in the wrong time. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, if a man calls his wife to his bed and she refuses, then she will spend that night with all angels cursing her. That's our religion and this is our deen. لما له من حق عليها وجعل المرأة في بيتها راعية ومسؤولة. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam يقول كلكم all of you are. Guardian and responsible for your circle of guardianship. And he said, And a woman is kind of responsible and guardian in the, in the house of her husband. And she will be responsible and she will be questioned about her responsibility. So take care of your husband. Take care of, of the house of your husband. Take care of everything because you will be responsible for that. المرأة الصالحة إذا نظر إليها سرته وإن أمرها أطاعته وإن غاب عنه عنها حفظته في نفسها وماله. He is giving us Allah Azza wa Jalla the description of a good wife. He said the best of the treasures of a a Muslim male is his wife. If she is good, a righteous wife. قال when he looks at her, she will make him happy. وإن أمرها if he requested her to do something, she will do. And وإن غاب if he is away she will keep him and, and you know be beautiful to him like in his absence as well. في نفسها وماري as far as her chastity and as far as his money as well she is a responsible dependable person. فلنتقي الله في أنفسنا أيها الأكارم إن كنا نتحدث عن تطبيق شرع الله والشريعة فها هي الشريعة وها هو الدين فنبدأ به في بيوتنا وحياتنا الأخوات والإخوة الأزواج. So if we are talking about, you know, implementing the rule of Allah and this and that and we have the deen and, and we need to, this is our deen in here and this is in the reach uh, approachable by everybody of us. This is within the, the circle of our control. It's, that's us. That's you, sister. That's you, my brother. We are, we can do that. Let's be balanced and let's also, you know, uh, know the rights and responsibilities that we have so we uh, uh, we live a happy life. Let's be for wives. I can I conclude by that. Let's be like a Sayyida Khadija. Sayyida Khadija Jaa Jibreel and Nabiya Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya 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 ya. Mulu huwa an yubashir Sayyida Khadija ta bi baytin fil jannati min qasab la wasab fihi wa la nasab. Al qasab huwa lulu. 